Hi, I'm now in Dubai but living in Mumbai all these years I've always wondered what if the sea overflows and takes over the city? Well, seems like that is a possibility after all. And if you are living not just in Mumbai but even in Kochi, Mangalore, Chennai, Visakhapatnam or Tiruvananthapuram, then this story is extremely important for you. Listen carefully and watch it right up till the end. A new analysis on the impact of the rise in sea level on coastal Indian cities has revealed that some critical properties and road networks in these cities will be submerged underwater by 2050. Yes, that's in less than 30 years from now when many of us might still be around. An analysis by a global risk management firm called RMSI has found that iconic places in Mumbai like the Hajili Darga, Jawaharlal Nehru Port Trust, Western Express Highway where I live, Bandra Worli Sea Link and the Queen's Necklace on Marine Drive in South Mumbai where I used to live before are all at the risk of submersions. In Mumbai alone, some 998 buildings and 24 kilometers of road length will be affected by sea level rise and close to 2500 buildings and 126 kilometers of road length will be affected by high tides by 2050 as per this report. Similar estimates of destruction have also been assessed for other cities, other coastal cities rather that I told you earlier. And what's the basis of these claims? The company considered findings from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change 6th Assessment Report to find out possible impact of climate change on the Indian coastline. The experts created a high-resolution digital terrain model for the coastline of these six cities that I mentioned earlier. They then used a coastal flood model to map the city's inundation levels based on various sea level rise forecasts. The study projected that the sea level all around India will rise significantly by 2050. The North Indian Ocean will rise by approximately about a foot as per the report. In fact, a climate change scientist named Roxy Call from IITM said the sea level rise is not the only factor that can flood coastal cities. Coastal regions are already facing the brunt of climate change with increasing intense cyclones, storm surges and heavy rainfall that leads to coastal flooding. And with a 2% climate change, these cyclones are expected to intensify even further. And there has to be a kid who is crying when I'm doing my videos. So how can we stop this from happening? Roxy said we need to urgently monitor and study these compound events so that we can prepare our early warning systems for efficient disaster management. But he didn't say on how we can stop this. So what are the experts in the Indian government saying? Well, they say that the amount of greenhouse gases like CO2 emitted by the world needs to peak by 2025, followed by a 43% reduction in the next 10 years after that, in order to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius by 2100. They are also asking for immediate action with a warning that policy is implemented till the end of 2020 will add more emissions and will lead to rise of 3.2 degrees Celsius in global climate temperatures by the end of the century. But even before that happens, this threat of cities like Mumbai and Chennai being submerged under the seawater seem like a clear and present danger. After all, 2050 is only 28 years away from today. Let me know what are your thoughts on this in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you've already subscribed to this channel. You can connect with me and chat with me like many of you are doing on Instagram and on Facebook. It's at the rate Review Ron. I'm available on Twitter as at the rate Ron Akutecha. But as always, even if you don't do any of these things, thank you so much for watching this one. Please take care of yourself and those around you. Jai Hind.